you give me a training camp. You, you know, I put it, I, I put it all together the way I should. And I, I, I'm right up there with everybody. I'm right up there with anybody. There's not a, there's not a guy that in, in the UFC that I can't beat. There's not one single guy that I can't beat. I can beat every single guy. It's that, like you pick a pull. You, there's some guys that they'll just never beat a top ten guy. It'll never happen. I can beat every single guy in the top ten. I, I just have to fight my fight the right way, you know, and that's what it comes down to. And I think Gaethje's a perfect, perfect opportunity for me to prove that. Yeah, he's been in there. Every fight he's been with has been with a tough guy. You've seen how he stacks up with people, but he's gonna fight the same way. He's gonna come out. He's gonna he's gonna throw freaking. He's gonna throw it all out there. But I just gotta be content on if I gotta look. You know I can take a beating. I'm not. That's besides. So what is he? How's he gonna beat me? What is he gonna? He's gonna. He beats on you until what? And uh, and that's not even gonna happen. But that's the worst case scenario. I take a beating and I come back and I freaking beat him. You know, it's what it's what happens. It's when that's what's gonna happen. But the best case scenario is my scenario is I go out there and I just make it look easy. Make it look easy. Train, game plan, smart, fight a good fight. And uh, there's there's no reason. There's no reason it, it shouldn't be any other way. Brother man, Al, I quint up. Um, we all know he's a little different from regular people but he's built different man he's uh he's a warrior and um i don't know about him beating everybody in the top 10 but i will say this his uh performance against khabib namagomedov stellar performance man i don't think khabib was underperforming that night i think Al brought the fight to Khabib in ways that Khabib just didn't expect. I think Al surpassed expectation there. That's just my personal opinion. Maybe it's because I'm a fan of um, Khabib. But honestly speaking, when I saw that fight against uh, Khabib, I, I really felt as though Al was outperforming whatever expectations we had of him. Because I'm going to be frank with this, man. That was the first time I ever heard of him. When uh, he came up as the second alternative to um, Max Holloway for the Tony Ferguson fight, I didn't know who he was. I've never seen him fight. And then he puts up a pretty decent performance against Khabib. Remember, man, Khabib has never lost a round in MMA, right? His last performance was his absolute worst. His absolute worst against any fighter. I mean, at one point of that fight, Khabib's coaches told him to stick to the strategy. Take him down. Show him what you got. We're going to work on the striking whenever we can. Khabib just wouldn't listen, man. He just kept throwing bombs at Al, you know. So, Al really performed. Um, as for him beating anybody in the top 10... Hey, man, you have to realize their names like Kevin Lee in there. When Tony Ferguson is fully healthy, he's going to come back. There's just so much competition stacked up in that weight division. And let's not forget names like Conor McGregor. That guy's going to come back, you know. So, yeah, um, I don't know what else to say to that except only time will tell if you can beat everybody in the top ten. As for number one, you took it to number one. Better than anybody who's ever taken it to number one. Let me know what you guys think. Like, comment, subscribe, and I am out. And I peep you. And I lost respect for you. When you say you about this culture and this music. Because you ain't. The day you feel you can question me. Being where you're from. Chevy Chase, Maryland. Graduated in 98? You ain't got no word in this city. It's my city. <laughs> Any of you radio personalities think you want smoke? Call me Mr. Chimney. I want smoke. You know why? Because you can never, you don't work hard as me, bro. You're a sidekick in this city. Sidekick in the morning. Sidekick on your own show. On Complex, you look like a sidekick. Tell Complex to cut me a check tomorrow, because I made you mad at a night. I'm going to get you some numbers that show it's trash on Complex. You're about to culture.
culture, but you bring up that ding-dong chick to interview. Who you think, we stupid?